day one of getting my shit together. Don't you want to sometimes feel like they've lost themselves a little bit? Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that cup. I just feel like I need to find myself again. Whoever that person is. I don't know. So I'm just getting ready for work and I've just had this thought. I need to stop just like procrastinating and actually start doing. I just need to start doing. Like this is washing. This needs to be put away. This is gonna be a part of the process. It's getting more organized. I have I don't know, I've just I'm not as organized as I used to be. I have gained a bit of weight. I'm not looking after myself and I think it's pretty apparent in my body, in my skin, in the way I feel. And I just need to get back to, I need to get, not maybe get back to, but actually start looking after myself better. I used to run. I used to look after myself. I used to drink water. I used to take 10,000 steps a day. I don't do any of that anymore. I need to get back to it. So today, like I said, is day one. The good start would be to make sure my camera is fully charged. Not charged, sorry. Maybe I got space on my camera. I need to get another memory card. That's what I need to do. Good morning, baby. Yes. What's oh, noisy? Noisy, noisy. Half nine, nearly half nine, I just got back from work. I thought I would bring Luna out for a little walk while it's still light out. It's quite cold out this evening though. It doesn't feel like summer. I wanted to get some more steps, so definitely not doing enough steps today. But I've not had the time to make a plan of action. So I want to try and do that when I get home. I'm going to make a cup of tea, get into my pyjamas <laughs> and figure out what the plan of action is. Um, there is a bit of a sunset, I don't know if you can see it. I'll show you in a minute on the front part of the camera. But she's loving life, bless her. It's been a busy day at work, but I feel like I've been in an okay mood, which is great. I'm ready to lead a healthier lifestyle, which is always great. Um, I just gotta stick to it. So yes, yeah, gonna go home, make a plan of action, and figure out what the habits are and everything to be able to stick to it. Go cool. on. got up and went for a walk with Luna this morning though which was surprising I'm so tired that I did not go to bed early enough and uh, one of the things I've added onto my healthy lifestyle tick boxes is seven hours of sleep each night I definitely need to do that so I'm just putting on my morning skin uh, I have my morning coffee no syrup I'm trying to cut out the syrup in the coffee in the morning have it on like special occasions so I had a good think about last night about a couple of goals and healthy lifestyle kind of mini goals I want to hit on the daily or weekly. So I have a good idea of what needs to be done. One of them was hitting 10,000 steps a day, which I used to do, and then I just stopped doing it because <laughs> I just became lazy. Um, and I reduced my target to like 6,000 steps a day, but I'm going to put it back up to 10,000 because I want to get 10,000. So I'm going to do a walk in the morning. Sometimes it might be in the evening because I might just get up and go straight up a bike. By bike, I mean stationary bike. What was I saying? Yeah, I want to do 10,000 steps. I'm going to do a walk either in the morning or the evening because I quite enjoyed an evening walk last night, but then I enjoyed a morning walk today. The sun is shining already and it's really nice outside, so it's quite nice and refreshing actually. And then I'm going to make sure I go on at least two walks a day at work and yeah. Just going to be trying to be a bit more active. I'm up for the, not the challenge, it seems a little bit of a challenge, but up for the move 
into a healthier lifestyle that's the way i'm seeing it yeah so if you want you know that little bit of digital support join me on instagram because i'll be posting a lot on there about like you can do this you've got this you know all those motivational things so it's all good right i'm gonna finish getting ready for work so this morning i've decided to park in the furthest car park away from where i work <laughs> in the building and um, so i have to walk all the way through to the other side of the building to get to my office so extra step considering i was meant to be home an hour ago I'm not doing too bad <laughs> half eight and I'm just gonna make myself some dinner. A little bit later than I'd like, but one of those things. And my eczema has started to flare up on my face. And I'm really, really hoping it doesn't turn out bad. It doesn't look like anything now, but I've got it all over my eye and I can feel like it going bumpy and it's all been really irritable around here. Definitely doesn't look as red on my phone camera, but it's pretty, pretty horrible. And I think last time I had a flare up, I thought it was due to skincare. And I'm wondering if it is stress related. And you know, I'm trying to leave that stress free life. But oh yeah, I can feel it. Oh, man. What I tend to use is Aveen. Well, I use it every day anyway, because it's gentle on my skin and it doesn't, oh, it's not it doesn't make any eczema flare-ups so like non-stress related eczema which i do get as well <laughs> so so it's just fun fun time obviously it's been very busy these last couple of weeks for the house stuff for work has been quite busy and stressful so this is my body just like reiterating what i already know basically so thanks buddy thanks I get telltale signs of my body like eczema flare-ups and ulcers under here. I always get ulcers when I'm stressed or run down. I feel like sometimes I can mask <laughs> the emotional feeling of it all, but then my body's like, bitch, you need to calm down. You need to take it slow. I'm just going to do a gentle exfoliation just to see if I can just take off those dead skin cells, let the skin breathe, and then like I said, I'm going to in cream i do have some steroid cream that i can put on my face but i can't put it anywhere near my eyes and sometimes i just feel like i just want to put it on my eyes but because it um thins the skin or something and because your eye area is already so delicate they obviously say don't put it on your eye area. otherwise though today's been all right i have done quite a few walks today well not quite a few walks i've been a bit more active away from my desk i haven't really done as many steps as I would have liked, but I've done better than yesterday and I still have a couple of hours in to get my 10,000 steps. Part of leading a happy and healthy lifestyle is making sure that I am listening to my body when it's telling me it's stressed and I need to do something about it. I need to take a break, I need to chill. I'm at the food with my friend on Friday night and I think that's gonna help a lot. I think a little break is needed and I just need to just then I just need to not stress. There's no point in stressing. Don't stress cats. Easier said than done. Good morning everyone. I have a facial this morning, yay! Which I was meant, I normally have every six weeks. And then I changed my last appointment, this appointment, to uh, four weeks from the previous one. And I had to postpone because of all the house stuff. And it's only just been, it was only today that I could schedule it in for. And even today I'm still quite busy. But I've got time for a facial, so I'm going for one. Um, but I think it's been, how long has it been? Nine weeks, eight weeks, nine weeks since my last facial. So I'm very excited. I am hoping, if I say, I'm just going to say to her, look, my skin is really fragile at the moment. I can feel the eczema flare up right on the cusp of, you know, being quite nasty. Please just use gentle, soothing, calming products on me. And I'm hoping because I get so relaxed during that hour. I'm hoping my body will just take a deep breath 
lay it all back out. My hair needs washing, however, because of all the stuff that goes into my face, it does get around my hairline. So I am gonna wash my hair when I get home instead. I my face is a little bit sore, like I said. It definitely look doesn't look as bad as last night. I was in the office for a while and then I went to go into the bathroom to wash my face and slather it in moisturizer and I looked like a tomato. Anyway, I'm going to sort my hair out, I'm going to throw on some comfy clothes and then I'm going to go and enjoy an hour. Um, but yeah, I've got the facial, then I've got to, I've got to post um, a candle that I sold the other day, so I've got that ready, so I'm going to post that this morning. And I have got work, I think, 12 to 4. Uh, but I'm just working from home, I'm just covering because I've got one of my team members off today. And I... I think I had someone put a meeting in for just after as well, about three o'clock. I don't mind too much if it's only half an hour. If it goes over that, I'm going to be like, going to have to dash. <laughs> I want to work. I've started editing this video, so I want to do some more on that. And I'm really trying to think of ways to just make it a bit more interesting. So I've been looking into that. I'm going to put some oil on the ends of my hair. And I, I just want to, like, I don't know, just have a day of getting organised, put some music on, and just get really organised with everything. <sighs> there you go. It's another change. Become more organised. There we go. Like I said, I used to be, but I'm not so much anymore, so I need to get back to it. Right, I'm going to finish getting ready. I will catch you all later. <sighs> My skin feels so much better after that facial. She didn't actually do the full hydrofacial, so she just kind of gave me a facial and this lovely facial massage with all these oils just so my skin could just drink it up. My skin doesn't feel tight, which is good. And it just feels nicer. It doesn't look red which is always good and i'm gonna drink a lot of water today flush out all that bad crap i am going i need to work 12 to half three four ish but i am gonna put a hair mask in the ends of my hair and then after that i'm gonna wash it ready for tonight because i'm going out for a meal and i'm gonna try and do some other work as well busy day I just had a delivery excuse for hair hey guys I think this is something I bought for my friend. Small, I thought it was going to be bigger, but never mind. Do what makes your soul shine. I just thought it was like really cute. Right, so I've been doing some shopping because me and Dan are finally going on our honeymoon this year. We are off to Florida and we're out there for a pretty long time. So I need some versatile pieces. I already have quite a few bits that I can take with me, but there was just some things that I was missing that I wanted to buy. And a hat was definitely one of them. Obviously not with this hairstyle. And then I got a couple of goodies, like a couple of bits and bobs, so I'm going to try them on later. So I am showered and semi-ready. I have not put much makeup on my face just because it's really angry <laughs> today. And I just... Try, I tried to spend a little bit more time on my hair, um, like blow drying it. I think it adds a little bit of shape, but not much. I don't know, I need to, I need to get better with that. But I think I'm gonna buy one of those Dyson air wrap things anyway. Um, yeah, I just did my eyebrows and put a bit of mascara on, but honestly, I am not gonna put anything actually onto my skin because I don't want to anger it more than it already is. I'm gonna try on my little ASOS bits now and uh, see what they look like. So I got a Petite Petite in the beach cover up and I find it really weird that some petite stuff fits me and some petite stuff is just too small. So what I'm going to do is order a bigger size in this just because I feel like the arms should be longer. I mean I'm not too, it just feels like it could be a little bit more, just sits better. I don't know. But it's really cute otherwise so yeah like I said I might order a slightly different size. A little bit with a hat. <laughs> really cute and uh, I think I'm going to treat myself to some nice new sandals as well so yeah I feel like this is just what I want to wear <laughs> all of the holiday so I'm going to send this back and get a bigger size but I will I do like it as a beach cover-up but I feel like you could definitely get away with wearing this just in the day as an actual um play suit as well and um I am absolutely I just need to learn how to pack a hat in your suitcase. So my friend is wearing a dress and heels. 
So I've dressed up a little bit more and I've gone for this look. I have never worn heels like this out before. So I'm really hoping I don't lose a shoe, trip up and kill myself. But we'll see. I've like wedged my feet in there and I'm just hoping that <laughs> they'll stay on. But how, how do you walk in these? I suppose it'll be a good test gone for this kind of look. A black, of course. Yeah, I need to do this more often. Go out for food with friends. I don't do this enough. That's going to be another change. Go out more. <laughs> yes. See you later. Good morning, everyone. I thought I had pockets, um, but I don't. Spontaneous trip out with the girls for lunch today. They messaged me this morning, like, do you want to go out for lunch? And I was like, hell yes. Otherwise, I was just going to spend the day, like, tidying until we go out later on with friends tonight. So we've got a very, I've got a very social day, but it's good. I've had a very social weekend so far. Uh, but this is... What I'm wearing, I'm actually wearing these trousers from Bershka and these are petite and they are the most perfect length and I never wear trousers out so something a bit different. I did try and sort my hair out again this morning like give it a bit of a blow dry but it's just gone like this so um, I'm definitely going to invest in something that gives me that blow dry feel but I'm going to go and have lunch with the girls. home now after a lovely afternoon with the girls I've put some comfy clothes on and I'm gonna do some tidying because that's another change that I need to make is just to be more on top of house tidying house chores those sort of things we've had a really nice tidy house during the whole um, selling process obviously with people viewing the house I wanted it to look nice and tidy and organized when people came around and we've let it slip a little bit since we don't really have to worry about it anymore, but I want to get back to it because it was really nice having a nice, tidy house. So, I'm going to sort the dressing room out, put all the clothes away. sorted my returns out for ASOS there was a lot to return and I was gonna buy I have placed another order with ASOS just to get the larger size in that black play suit and a different um, swimsuit and bikini that I want to try but everything else is going back other than the I think the red dress and the two hats and I was gonna place an order with Zara but I've decided not to and I have decided that once I've returned these things back to ASOS and then anything from this today's order which should be delivered tomorrow i'm not going to do any more online clothes shopping i'm actually going to go and shop in person and because i very rarely actually go into town and go shopping i think it's going to really reduce down the amount of online well the amount of uh, clothes that i buy because the thought of going into town and clothes shopping I just have to really be in that mood for it whereas I can easily scroll online and just add stuff to a basket and I don't want to do that anymore I want to make a change <laughs> another change where I actually invest a bit more time and money into the items that I'm putting into my wardrobe I think for me it's an ongoing battle with my wardrobe I've done many videos on my style and my wardrobe and I'm like come on Cass it's time to just bite the bullet and just do it and do it properly and well the way I think it I should do it and I think as well it's going to reduce obviously having to 
deliver stuff to our house which is a bonus and then if I'm going in town and buying things I'm walking around multiple shops where I haven't got multiple deliveries coming to my house sort of thing so but like I said I very rarely go into town to clothes shops it's a rarity so I'm hoping that means that I will save some money and my friend said to me the other day which I actually thought was a very valid point she was like why don't you shop in America and she was like why don't you take like a half empty suitcase and buy stuff when you're out there and I was like I had thought of it but hearing you say it it makes sense so I think I'm just going to make sure I've got the core pieces so I've got a bikini and a swimsuit a cover up a really nice evening dress and you know some basic stuff because I already have a lot of basics but I think in when we're out there I just want to buy a nice nice evening dress my problem is at the moment I haven't started looking at what I've got for it so I don't want to spend too much and then get to the packing and I'd be like oh my god I've got too much stuff <laughs> so but I don't want to start packing because it's way too soon and there's no point until we move house so that's where we're at I never changed that I think it will just add a more sustainable touch to my life I'm hoping anyway I'm being a right little social butterfly this weekend we are up out to the pub friends some drinks and some food and I've pretty much got the same outfit I've changed up my shoes um, I added ass just because they're comfy to walk in and threw on a leather jacket and a more of an evening bag but we're only going to the pub so and I managed to put some CC cream onto my face and it doesn't feel irritable so I'm hoping I won't anger it but I bought this today from e.l.f and so far I am absolutely in love and I think I always struggle with a colour match but I think the colour match is okay. I might have to go slightly darker with a t if I get a tan. But I think this one with a little bit of blush and um, bronzer, I think it works fine. So yeah, I'm actually quite impressed. This was like 14 99 Colour correcting, full coverage, natural finish. SPF 30. And it's a CC cream. Which is going to be perfect for work because it's light. It doesn't feel like I've got anything on. Um, on my lips I picked up a new NYX powder puff lippy and this is in Best Buds and I am actually really liking this colour, really like natural pink. Something that I think I can wear daily. I really like it. Right, we're off to the pub. Good evening everyone. I have been really busy working away today, getting really organised with everything and I've been learning how to use Procreate. As you might have noticed in this video, I actually did the intro through this. I'm hoping I'll get better as I go. That's currently, I'm still a beginner so still got a lot to learn with it. We are, it's actually quite late in the day now, we're taking Luna out for a walk and then I'm going to come home and start my evening self-care routine and that just involves like a bath and getting relaxed i still need to finish editing this video so i think i'm going to do that after i've had my bath and everything to make sure that's all ticked off mm -hmm. 